Man, oh man. I don't even know what to say about that episode. That might have been one of the best episodes, that, you know, from the entire series of The Boys, man. Uh, I don't even know. That's, that's pretty crazy, man. The whole time, I was as invested in. Just goes to show, man, like the one hour length time of episodes, you know, it's just, it just works, man. Like, especially in like, episodes like this, where it's just, you know, so rich, man. Like, and what I mean by so rich, I mean, like, just, man, in this episode, man, the story was absolutely top tier. Like, so many things happened in the story. The plot's moving forward tons. Just, from, you know, it's one episode alone, right? I, you know, you could argue maybe this is the most that's moved in one episode alone, right? So far in the season. And yeah, man, the episode itself is just, like, you know, strong, you know what I mean? Like, um, Probably the most compelling thing. I don't know if you guys saw the tweet from uh, the showrunner, Eric Kripke. He said, you know, the performance from this, you know, upcoming episode, man, which is uh, now episode four, was um, from the boys. Was gonna, or, yeah, from the boys. Uh, in particular, uh, the actor plays um, Homelander, Homelander uh, Anthony Starr, that he was going to, you know, absolutely, man, just have like, a, you know, an Oscar, an Emmy, you know, worthy performance, man. And, man. Yeah, that, that performance by him is great, man. Like, a lot of the episode, you know, it's obviously dedicated to him. And it's kind of like him, you know. I guess the best way to describe it is, like, you know. I'm going to go to spoilers, by the way. And, yeah, sorry about the mic quality, but, you know, that's how it is right now. But, yeah, man. The best way to describe what Homelander was experiencing this episode is kind of like he revisited his past, right? And, yeah, he's just kind of, like, living back, you know, trauma from, you know, when he's, like, adolescent, right? When he's, like, pretty young. Up until like what 16, because we saw the marking on there, right? That's the last one, 16. So I'm guessing up until 16, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, man, we're just seeing him absolutely revisit that. And what, um, what was her name? What Barbara said, man, at that one point about like, you know, him just, you know, wanting like, you know, I guess attention away and, you know, approval, whatever, validation and like, you know, seeking love and stuff. Those things still ring true, man, to this day, which is, I guess, at least the way I see it. Is kind of like why he's back, you know, revisiting us, right? Why he's back there, right? And then, um, yeah, man, I don't know. I just found that very interesting. And <laughs> yeah, man, when he killed, uh, what was the guy's name? When he killed the doctor, what was his name? Not the first one, but the second one, when he killed Marty, bro. <laughs> like, that whole sequence is crazy, bro. He made him, you know, he got his lick back on him. You know I mean, got his revenge back on him, made him do, you know, the thing. Right from uh, you know how Homelander got the nickname Squirt, right, and then he pretty much made the, he did made the uh, the doctor uh, do the same thing back, man. You know, and then he laughed at him, man, and everyone was watching. You know, that was um, I don't know, that that sequence is very intense, man. And then of course afterwards, um, Homelander, right, you know, lasered him, you know where, man, and uh, yeah, the way they showed that off was <laughs> that was brutal, man. That was absolutely brutal. And I mean, I just really like that part. Uh, let me know what you think about that down below. And some other parts I really like, and I honestly, the I guess the next part I'll have to probably talk about right now I guess is the Huey, and like you know his dad, that type of you know that plot line or whatever that storyline, um, man I don't even want to say it. like at first I was kind of like ah oh, you know whatever like, it is what it is man, if he dies he dies honestly I didn't really care that much man and, but now this episode man, it's kind of like won me over in a way because. We're seeing, like, A-Train and stuff, you know, get involved, right? It's, like, connected to his, you know, redemption arc. But then it's also connected to Huey, right? Because we're seeing, you know, obviously A-Train's helping him out, you know what I mean? Um, getting him, like, the compound, right? And um, the, the compound V and stuff. And then, um, yeah, man, like, there's a lot of stakes at this, man. Just from A-Train doing that alone, right? For his dad and then, uh, for, sorry, Huey's dad and stuff, you know what I mean? You know, trying to, you know, make it even between them two. And I just like the redemption arc from A-Train alone. And then the fact that it's connected with Huey, right, just makes it it's better for me but then yeah man i don't know what it was it's just i don't know i just feel like the writing might have been better this episode just more like fascinating at least the storyline and yeah man what the mother did at the end man wow she was just you know she's new man she's new and then she obviously you know checked the coat when he was gone and you know put it in there man and obviously we see him like waking up right uh seeing huey's dad wake up and uh yeah and then the other thing i mean the, I don't know, the, the way they went about it, the this episode with Huey, I, just, I don't know what it was about it. I liked it, man. And then obviously it, it was also connected with like you know Kamiko, and uh, what was it called? The Shining Lights, I think that's what it was called, like the the gang. And um, yeah, I also like that. That was interconnected as well with that with Huey. And um, yeah, that's pretty good. And what else we saw? Uh, who else was it? Obviously the Starlight uh, stuff with um. 
you know, Starlight and Fire. Uh, what was her name? Firecracker, right? So, yeah, so that's her name, right, bro? I keep on forgetting. Yeah, um, yeah, Firecracker. Yeah, that's what her name is, right? And we're just seeing like a whole bunch of stuff. Like this episode shows, like the boys at their peak when they're like, you know, when they're going with like, you know, social commentary and you know, talking about like, you know, hitting on like political stuff, right? Talking about politics. Like I feel like this episode is like a good way of you know going about it, right? Because there's other past episodes in this um season where you know people were questioning it, right? Where you know it might have been like a but like too much, maybe you say like oversaturated, oversaturated like the politics and social commentary, I guess. And that's kind of what the show's been like, but some argue that's you know more the season, whatever, etc. But nah, like even besides from that, man, just the actual I guess way they went about this episode, it was felt pretty balanced to me, right? Because then they also went about you know other things as well. I oh, am, yeah, man. I really like that, and it's just, bro, it's just, this is compelling, bro. Like, just the firecracker versus Starlight, you know, uh, beef that's going on right now. And a lot of it's, like, a lot of stuff's riding on it, right? We saw this episode, what happened, because of Starlight, right, losing her, uh, you know, control and stuff after, you know, rightfully so, you know what I mean, because what Firecracker did, right? She was just leaking information, all that personal stuff, and, um, about, uh, Starlight, right, leaking all that, and then, yeah, man, uh, now, um, what's his name, bro? Singer, right? That was his name? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But the president, right? Or the guy who's running for president, sorry. Um, he's now, like, in a tough situation. He's in even more of a mess, pretty much, right? And he also has Newman on his head, right? You know, who's ready to just take him out, man, as soon as, you know, he gets elected. So we'll see what happens with that. But he's screwed now because the legislation thing, right, they were trying to get um, approved, you know, via Starlight, right, to get the Republicans back into it. That's now in limbo, bro. That's done with, bro. It's over. There's no way that's happening now, bro. After what Starlight did, she's bro. She fumbled it, bro. And then, um, yeah, I, re- I don't know. I just really like that, the way they went about that. And then also, you know, we saw Butcher got you know connected into that, right? We're still seeing, um, you know, obviously Ryan's mom, right? Every time Butcher's like, you know, about to pass out or something, right? Like as he's like slowly dying, right? And um, you know, that's I still find that you know pretty good as well. Then uh, what else is there? Uh, Frenchie, right? Frenchie. I heard the other guy's name. My bad, man. But, you know, Frenchie finally, like, you know, he's had enough of it, man. He finally reveals, you know, what's going on with, um, you know, him and, uh, you know, the guy that, you know, he's in a relationship with. He finally tells him, reveals that, yeah, man, uh, I'm the one who killed your family, man. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, the w- even the way I just said it, man, just sounds like, I don't know, brutal, to be honest. Uh, what else? We saw that fight, right, with... um with um butcher uh frenchie and stuff against uh you know um uh, <laughs> that guy uh i guess yeah like you know the guy who's like all about the lord and stuff uh yeah i mean that was pretty cool to be honest um the way butcher you know pretty much um you know used the fire extinguisher to like pretty much like freeze his arm right <laughs> and then broke it man that was pretty cool and then man that was very interesting when pretty much she's like about to die right and then ryan's mom pops up whatever and stuff like that and then you know he just blacks out and then he wakes up or whatever and the guy's exploded right so um it just shows the power right um you know, how powerful butcher is right and yeah man we'll see what happens with that and then what else was there um i guess i did talk about the a train redemption arc that's pretty good, especially that scene where, bro, I honestly thought Homelander might have came there, bro. I honestly thought Homelander was about to come when A-Train was, you know, in his place, you know. And then he saw, he saw, um, you know, I mean, you know what he saw first uh, before he found, you know, what he needed, the compound. And, um, yeah, he, he first found, you know, Homelander's little stash of, you know, other things. And then, you know, finally found what he needed. And then, um, yeah, bro, Ashley's there. Like, what the hell? Why is she there, bro? She's cheese, too. You know what I mean? She's like uh has her own problems with uh, Homelander, I guess fought in a way. Uh but mainly Homelander. And then, you know, Sister Sage, we also see her, you know, um going uh crazy, I guess, with uh the deep, let's say. Um that's uh alright. But she's also, you know, uh, her plans working out right now, right? She pretty much is like the mastermind behind behind the whole thing because she knew that uh, Starlight, you know, was going to be fed up, and then finally, you know, had her breaking point, right? And then that would, like, go in um, her favor, right? Go in, like, you know, Bot's favor and stuff like that. And, you know, she's right. And then, look, now everyone's, uh, you know, against um, Annie, right, Starlight. So that worked. And, uh, yeah, man, I still think my prediction, man, I haven't said, like, obviously it was the first video for me about the boys uh, this season, but, yeah, man, my prediction is still standing, man. 
And that is, I, I just have a bad feeling, man. A train is gonna die. Like even like this episode, like I thought I thought this since uh, the first three episodes, like last week. But now, man, even more after, after this episode. Nah, man, A train is like on his final leg. Yeah, this is the last, bro. This is the last dance, bro. Nah, he's gonna get caught, bro. He's like, he has to, bro. There's like no way. There, there's no way I can see him getting out of this. Awesome. It's crazy, but yeah, man. Let me know what you think down below. I'm just kind of waffling right now, rambling. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, man. This is a great episode. Arguably, you know. People are saying one of the best of the series, and you know, hey, I'm not gonna fight that man. It's really good, super, super good. Definitely, um, the best one from this episode alone, I'd say, or from this uh season alone, right? Definitely the best one from here. And yeah, man, let me know what you think down below about that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next one. Peace.